What's up YouTube? I want to show you guys one of the best ways to do an LS swap and that is actually with a carburetor. Um, I started out the normal way like everybody does it. I had a uh, I had a nice holly intake on it and I uh, modified the stock harness that I got with the motor and with the turbo and everything I upgraded the injectors and I was just having a hard time tuning this thing. I probably should have just taken it to a tuner and have them do it but no matter what I could not get it to I couldn't get to build boost, couldn't get it to do anything. Um, I tried swapping sensors and everything else. And after just several weeks of tuning and I could never track down the issue, I, I might've had a defective PCM. Um, it bricked on me once and I had to do the, the little trick where you hit the pins and get to unlock again. And I just got tired of messing with it and I wanted something different and kind of like it because it kind of, you know, this car was obviously carved before. So it's kind of cool. Um, still kind of retro, I guess you could say. Um, but budget wise, I wish I would have just done this from the get go instead of messing with the other thing. Um, I didn't want the uh, ugly truck intake on there. So <clears throat> I had a, uh, I had a Holly, um, intake and I mean, it was really, it looked awesome. It was sweet. Um, but between that and then having the, uh, chopped up factory harness laying all, all over the place and, it's still kind of messy in here. Um, I've been testing and tuning, trying to figure things out. So I'm kind of, I'm going to redo a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, now that I got all the kinks worked out and all the gremlins have showed their face. Um, but as far as uh, like um, controlling the motor, you still kind of have a computer. I've got one of these LS series MSD boxes. Uh, super simple. All it has is just, it has two connections. One for uh, your cam position sensor in the back, and then you have your crank position sensor down there by the starter. So now you just you hook up those two sensors. Uh, yeah, there's a little data cable you plug into there. The software is free. Um, you just go online and download the file, and it just has a it has a couple of maps. And even if you don't want to tune it, it does have factory settings. You can set it to truck. Um, uh, there's a few other options on there. I can't read it from here. And then there's a uh, custom. So I have mine set on custom and I set mine up to where it is uh, RPM based. So with the turbo and everything else, I've heard a couple of things about um, if you roll too much boost on those MSD boxes, apparently it will default back to factory setting and throw too much timing. So, uh, Rather than risk that, I just set it up for RPM based and basically at about 3,500 RPMs, 3,000 RPMs, somewhere around there. I dropped the timing down. Uh, I'll have to double check where I'm at, but I, I believe I dropped it down to probably somewhere in the teens by the time it, it gets out to like 5,000 RPM or so. So just real safe and I, I can kind of add more timing as I go. Uh, but the carburetor setup was super simple. There's a ton of videos online. <clears throat> But basically, you take these uh, metering blocks, you pull them out, and you put a boost reference power valve in the front one. I went ahead and modded the back one and added one in there. Um, just makes it a little easier to tune. So, But there's a ton of videos online about that. I might do one one day, but I was kind of learning as I was going, so I didn't, I didn't really uh, didn't record anything on that. But yeah, so far, uh, this thing sounds nasty. Um, I love it. I, I wish I would have done the uh, Carb LS from the get-go. would have saved myself uh, probably quite a bit of money and headache. Uh, by the time you buy a HP tuner, if you didn't already have one, the license to unlock it. And uh, if you wanted intakes, make, or different intake, make it look a little better. Um, and injectors and all of that. It was just it was pretty pricey. Um, but... This setup, I mean, that this intake was only, I think it was under 200 bucks. This is a uh, cheap one on Amazon, but it works great. Um, I bought this carb, it's a Holly 750. I bought it on Facebook Marketplace for like 200 bucks. Probably put another hundred dollars in it in parts and rebuild kit. And then, um, my carb hat was a little pricey, I can't remember how much it is, but it's the uh, Holly one. <clears throat> but you, you can definitely get cheaper ones and then that MSD box I got on Facebook too I think it paid like 200 bucks for it so I mean yeah if I would have done this from the get-go I would have saved myself so much time and headache so but yeah I just want to show you guys if you have any questions or anything comment below and uh, I'll do my best to answer them I'll probably do a few more videos um, on this if you guys ask for it so yeah
subscribe. Thanks.